how to create a dashboard in Evernote. I'm going to give you a tutorial on this today. Why do we need a dashboard in Evernote? Do you ever thought to have a single note in Evernote that assists you to navigate you to specific pages of interest, but within Evernote? For instance, you might be having various different notes like meeting minutes, to-do list, tax documents, and so on. Do you also wish to have external links within Evernote, which can take you to the relevant websites like Google Calendar, weather.com, to-do list, without switching over to your browser, you can go directly within your Evernote straight to your browser. In a nutshell, do you wish to have a dashboard in Evernote which can do all the above? If your answer is yes, then you are at the right place. My name is Anshul Kumar and I provide great YouTube content on digital transformation strategies as well as concepts, personal growth and assisting this community to be more productive. Just for those who are not very much aware about Evernote, I've been a user of Evernote for the last 10 years and I have been using this Evernote for various different purposes like creating notes, meeting minutes, planning my various different projects and tasks, also using for task management, clipping web pages, search functionality is great, and many, many more things. So without further delay, let's get to the demo and see the tutorial of uh, how to create a dashboard. What you are looking at this point of time is my Evernote account. I have created multiple notes out here for demo purposes. And uh, this is one page what I created where I'm going to create a dashboard. So let's say I want to create a link in my dashboard for this complete guide to Evernote. So I'll go over here and let's say I call this as Evernote Guide. I go back to my specific note, right click it, copy note link, go back here, select the Evernote guide text what I wrote, right click, go all the way down somewhere in between and see this link, click add, paste this thing and you are done. Now once you click on this, this will take you to that specific note, what you have attached the link for, right? So let's go back and do one more sample out here. Let's say my to-do list. I'll copy the note link, go here. I'll say my to-do tasks. Select it. You can press Control K paste the link and then you are done. So this is one way of creating links within your dashboard. And every day, every morning, whatever notes you're accessing it uh, on a daily basis, it becomes really easy for you to just click it over here and go to that page. Another example, what I wanted to talk to you about is going to certain specific links which are outside Evernote. For instance, Google Calendar. This is my Google Calendar account. I go here, I type here. I just copied the link uh, for Google Calendar and I paste it out here and there it is. I can do my some news items or uh, uh, news pages what I access every day. Right, so I can go over here, I can copy the link for CNN. Go back here, paste that link. And then once I click over here, it takes me to that CNN page without being logging in on my browser and accessing that news item. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. I also wanted to show you a couple of samples what I've created over here, since I'm a, an avid user of dashboards out here. So my first dashboard sample 
is this you see i have uh, i have an image out here and then i have divided my all my links one in the business section another one is in the quick links business section is some pages or uh, some notes which i want to access very frequently so i have those created out here quick links like i want to go to my linkedin and facebook and google and news items and all those areas that's what i created out here another very interesting feature i wanted to talk to you about as to where do i get all these images from over here so if you see there is a website by the name of pixabay.com so if i click over here as a part of the link it takes me to pixabay pixabay is one site where you have millions and millions of images based on any different categories what you want to search and like 95% of them are free so you can just go to a new specific image right click copy the image and paste it out here second example what i wanted to give about the dashboard is an, an another way of creating a dashboard i have the image i have created a table out here which is a feature of evernote and then i have divided all these links into different sections over here it's it's easy on the eyes and it's easier to access my links over there if i want to go over and go to my google home page it will take me out there straight away i hope you liked my first tutorial on creating a dashboard in evernote may i please request you to subscribe to my channel to get more similar content and also press the bell icon for further notifications thank you